Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Le Grabalera Cat. So, um, yes, we're going to be getting into this DSP Tries It, episode 167, Taco Bell Nacho Fries. So these fries came out, like, uh, uh, well, last year, I guess, the date's right there. Um, or, well, it's 2020 now, so, yeah, a couple years ago. And, I mean, it's just, it's just a French fry. So I was just wondering why his v video, video is going to last eight minutes. So that intrigued me, so I decided to go in this raw dog. I haven't watched it, I haven't looked at it, no nothing, we're just going in as is. Now, first and foremost though, well not first and foremost, but another thing that I want to touch base on is, sorry for not being able to go full screen, for whatever reason, my computer just was like, man, I don't feel like fucking recording, let alone recording a DSP video. But um, I begged and pleaded, and it's working, and the only way I can get it to work is without putting the video in full screen, for whatever reason right now. Just random computer bullshit. So, uh, bug bugged computer mechanics, dude. So let's get into it, and let's see, why does DSP take eight minutes to review Nacho Fries? That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, Phil here, and welcome to a new edition of DSP Tries It. It's the first edition I've done in se So how long, oh yeah, just so you know, this is gonna be one of them reviews where we pause and talk. So how long you think those fucking fries and cheese have just been sitting there too? You think, you think this guy just fucking, because he always takes forever to do shit, right? I mean, if you watched anything from his from his streams, there's always like a pre-stream beforehand where he just fucking talks forever, but before like getting into the action. So I wonder how long these fucking fries have already been sitting here. Several months. Uh, they're just honestly at the end of 2017, early 2018. There just hasn't been a lot going on in the realm of food around here that I've been too interested in covering the, for you guys. The realm of food. But finally. Due to Throw clear. the demand of my viewers, we have a new item, ladies and gentlemen. I decided I would go out and check. I just want to, he just got done saying, due to the demand of my viewers, he's going to be reviewing these. Who the fuck is out there in internet land just asking this guy, please review Taco Bell Nacho Fries, please, please. Like, who the fuck is actually asking that question? Check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, Mexican fries from taco bell you may be saying mexican fries i'm pretty sure that's like not stated at all as far as the product goes it's just it's just nacho fries Dang, what Fr french fries from taco bell yes certainly not something i would think of getting at taco bell although i'm sure that they do fry a lot of different stuff for the very Actually, I would associate fries with ta with a taco place. Um, anybody who uh, has ever been to Del Taco, they have crinkle cut French fries at uh, at their location. Some ingredients that they have in their food. The last thing I would think of is going to Taco Bell to get a packet of fries. Well, guess what? I saw an advertisement for this on TV. I said I'm going to check it out. I saw an advertisement for it on TV while I was watching Raw. Out. So what it's supposed to be is Mexican seasoned fries, whatever that- Is that really what it's supposed to be? Mexican seasoned? Does he even know what the fuck that means? That means, I guess we're gonna find out, right? So here it is, this is how many you get. I would say it's about the equivalent of a small fry from any other comparable fast food place like, you know, McDonald's or Burger King or- Right now he's explaining to us how French fries work from fast food restaurants and the sizes of them. Like, yeah, we get it. They're small, medium, and large. Get on with it. And these, it's about that small size fry container. Um, and you actually get... I love how he's just talking about this. Like, talking about the size of it right now. Like, we can clearly fucking see what size you got, asshole. The, the nacho cheese sauce from Taco Bell, a little side of it to dip the fries in, okay? Now, the average Really? We're gonna use that to dip the fries in? I thought maybe I should fucking put it on my head or something. I saw, I said this was 99 cents, but when I went to my local Taco Bell, it was $1.19. So I think that it actually varies depending on where you live. It's yeah, you wanna know where it's 99 cents? And, you know, like your standard average Joe neighborhoods, you wanna know where it's about 20 cents more? I'll tell you. And nice neighborhoods. 
That's where. Okay, because that's what this guy has. This guy fucking lives in a nice neighborhood. The guy has two houses. All right, I think he drives a fucking BMW or some shit. Um, uh, in a gated fucking community. And all you need to do is just look up this guy's address online. Very easy to look up. And fucking just go and do Google Maps. Use that satellite view to go to look all the way down onto his street. And you will see that this fucking neighborhood is beautiful. So that's why... Um, stuff costs a bit more in his area because it costs more because people have the money to spend more. Probably regional pricing. Who the fuck gives money to a motherfucker who owns two houses? Well, we all know the whole foreclosure thing going on now, though. But still, a BMW and had two houses. Who the fuck gives a guy money? I'm sorry I'm taking so long with this, but seriously, I'm just ranting. Who the fuck gives this guy fucking money and he lives in a gated fucking community? And I live in one of the more expensive areas of the country price-wise, so it ended up being more expensive, all right? See, so you just said it right there. I live in one of the more expensive areas in the country. There you go. Don't get, stop giving this fucking guy money. 15, 99 cents, you know, wherever your mileage may vary depending on where you live. Um, here they are. So, first of all, what do they smell like? Well, it kind of smells exactly like the seasoning that they put on their potatoes. If you're Man, who would have fucking thought that it would smell like the same seasoning that they use at any other fucking Taco Bell restaurant? Who would have thought? They're not aware they have many different potatoes they have for their breakfast items. And also sometimes, you know, they do those burritos with the potatoes in them. Ugh. It smells almost exactly- Oh man, did you hear that? Ugh. Nice fucking snort, and like you can actually hear the little snot ball travel through his fucking nose and down his throat. Like that, and I'm gonna guess it probably is. But we're gonna find out. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever on DSP Tries It, we're gonna have a shift of perspective. Check this out. I used to do this. Uh, I don't remember. Hey, check this out. Check out me fucking using a tripod for my camera. Who the fuck would have thought a tripod with the camera? Wow. If I ever did this when I lived in Connecticut, quite honestly, did I ever do a shift of perspective like this? I don't remember. But obviously, when I used to do this with my ex-girlfriend... Man, what else do you think he's got in there, man? He fucking... He definitely got more shit. And I would hand her the camera, and then she would film. Since I can't do that anymore, I'm gonna go ahead and whoop. And, uh... Let's see how this looks. The good news is... Wow, that does not work well at all. You can't see me. <laughs> okay, well then adjust the camera, you bonehead. I think I need to adjust the cam- I'm gonna eat the food up here! So you can't see- <laughs> Hold on a sec, you can't see it. Um... By the way, no jump cuts, no nothing, just... Hey, let's just upload it like this. I think... This is gonna be one of the last times you ever see it in this perspective, because guess what? My girlfriend's moving in soon. And what's nice snort right there. Beautiful snort and also a nice little prelude to uh, to um, his first pet cat moving in. My girlfriend moves in with me. Uh, she's gonna. By the way, all you pay pigs out there, you're the ones that helped her fucking move in. You paid for his girlfriend. These motherfuckers who give him money don't even have girlfriends themselves, barely have money themselves, yet are giving money to this guy so he can also help move in his girlfriend. How fucking sad and pathetic is that, really? to be helping me out with these just like I used to, okay? Now, as you can see, obviously, all I ordered was those nacho fries, and I don't have anything. No, those bags of food over here you can ignore. That's not any other food. All I got was the cheese fries for dinner. <laughs> Wait a minute. He said all that he ordered, all that he ordered was this, and then he says, ignore this bag of food. That's not anything. That there, That's nothing. Then why is it even there in the first? Is that like a bag from the last Taco Bell expedition? Pretty sure there's something in there. Dinner today, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to cut down. I'm trying to look more svelte. All right. Much better. You can actually freaking see now. You can see my face. Um, all right. We're going to try it. So, here's a single fry. Again, it does. It smells remarkably just like the same seasoning that's on the potatoes. Probably because it is the same seasoning. Let's see what it tastes like. So I just want to I just want to say here that we're 4 minutes in and we finally got to fucking biting into a french fry. 
four fucking minutes. Ten minutes on this video alone. Well, the fly, the fly, the fry is fluffy. It's not crispy at all. It's one of those fluffy French fries, and it does taste like like almost like a Cajun season. Man, how is it that this guy can just really make anything annoying? Even eating a french fry, I just want to, like, punch his face. Look at his face right here. Don't you just want to fuck... Isn't this face so punchable right now? And why is it that when he bites into anything, he just has to, like, smack his fucking lips and his tongue, you know, like... Why? I mean, I understand, alright, hey, this is me tasting food, but does it really have to be that fucking loud? Seasoning, you know what I mean? Similar, like I said, they would put on their stuff. But almost no crisp to it. A very little bit of crisp. You hear that smacking? In fact, if you actually take a look, it's kind of dangly. See? It's not a crisp fry at all. So whatever fryer they use for it, I don't know. Let's try it with the actual nacho sauce and see if it complements it at all. Here you go. That's actually not bad. Of course it's not bad. I mean, all it is is a fucking cheese fry for crying out loud with the fucking, you know, a, a different type of spice on there. I mean, does this even really need to be reviewed, let alone the fucking eight minute fucking video about it? About one, about a fucking french fry for crying out loud? Come on. Hmm. It's funny because they call it nacho dip. Is it supposed to be queso? Right? Isn't that what's supposed to be warm, melty cheese queso? For Mexican food, you think to call it nacho dip at Taco Bell. Figure that out. Only Phil would genuinely think that Taco Bell is actual Mexican food. Trust me when I tell you, my mother is 100% Mexican. She would never regard Taco Bell as Mexican food. It's pretty good because the taco, excuse me, the nacho dip has a little bit of kick to it. Always does at Taco Bell. It's a little bit of a kick to it. So it actually tastes pretty good with your little nacho fries. So there's fucking three minutes left on this video. Are we just gonna sit here and watch him eat the whole fucking thing? Is that what this is? You know, usually people are like, and when they review something, first off, they don't take like four fucking minutes to get into it. They say, hey, here, this is what I got. Here's a receipt. Bite into it. This is what it's got. This is what I think. The end. Hmm. It's not bad. <laughs> you know that fucking episode of Family Guy where and it's I think this is more some of the more obscure references, like more obscure than the obscure, but it's the one where you can Peter is on the radio and he's talking about like and he has Weston soda biscuits. And fucking all it is is just him eating. That, that's it. He's just eating and I think like drinking tea or some shit. He's like, mmm. Mm. 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 And, like, that's the whole program. This is kind of what this reminds me of, except it's not funny. Am I bowled over amazed by the flavor? No. It's a fluffy fry with that's a little bit soggy with seasoning on it, and you dip it in the cheese sauce that you can get at Taco Bell anyway. It's not like some amazing, oh my god, I'm blown away deal. So there you go, folks. He just said it right there. It's not like it's amazing or blown away, you know, blown away, George. No, okay, it's just a fucking french fry with some cheese dip. So if it's just that basic, why even bother making a fucking review about it? Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot because there was like fucking people coming into droves on Phil's stream begging, begging him to review this fucking french fry. At the same time, it's not bad, okay? It's just for a dollar or a dollar nineteen, like I spent, it's not bad. It's a good side item. You know, if you're going to get a combo, but you want something a little bit extra, or maybe it's late night and you're just going to grab a few things, and you know how they have the El Cheapo dollar menu at night you can grab stuff from, this is a good new addition. Is this something you need to run to Taco Bell to get? Absolutely not. I don't think there's anything that Taco Bell, and, and don't get me wrong, I enjoy me some Taco Bell here and there, but I don't think there's anything that Taco Bell has to offer that would have me running there. 
All right, just saying. It certainly doesn't really add anything to the menu, you know. Now they actually, FYI, should let you know, they have another version of this. It's the Nachos Bell Grande version. So you, normally when you go to Taco Bell, you can buy nachos, and it's a big bowl of the, the, the tortilla chips, and they've got guacamole, uh, sour cream, pico de gallo, melted cheese, and you just dip it and eat it like that. Wow, that actually kind of sounds like something that would have been more interesting to review, but instead, here we are reviewing this stupid-ass thing, you know? Um, I was going to say instead again. Instead, instead, instead. Sorry, I keep repeating myself. And that's like four or five bucks, I think, because it's a big plate. You can get a plate of these instead of their tortilla chips for the same price. So if you want to go all out dipping fries and all kinds of toppings and stuff, you could do that too. But I didn't want to go for a giant. Wow, who would have thought that we have options at fast food joints? Who would have thought that? My plate of crazy toppings just for me. Uh, for me, this is pretty good. Is it amazing? No. Is it bad? No. For me, it's just kind of there. It's a cool... Once again, repeating himself. That's why we have a fucking eight-minute video about a french fry. Cool variety menu item. Will it stay forever? I don't know, but I don't think it really adds much more work for them to make these, considering they already have the fried potatoes on the menu. So I'm going to give... The new Taco Bell Mexican Nacho Fries, a three out of five. Not bad, not great. They just exist. If <laughs> they just exist. Kind of like you, asshole. Kind of like you. If you want variety when you order something from Taco Bell for an extra buck or so, sure, add it to your menu, but or add it to your order. But are you really going to go crazy for it either? Probably not. It's just something nice to add on. So, all right. A very short and sweet DSP tries it. I hope you guys... What? Wait a minute. What did he just say? He just said a very short and sweet DSP tries it. This was not short. This most certainly wasn't sweet. So what the fuck is he on about? Enjoyed it. The next time you see me for a DSP tries it for food, more than likely my, my girlfriend will be moving in with me. And so we'll be passing... Yeah, you want to know what the next DSP tries it would be with his then new girlfriend? Okay, it's going to be because the bitch just straight up looks like a horse with them fucking teeth that just protrude out of her fucking mouth. Mouth. It's going to be oats and hay and carrots. The camera back and forth, and she'll probably be commenting on the items as well. So, excellent. Thanks, everyone. Happy 2018. It's the first. By the way, his downgrade of a girlfriend, too. Major downgrade from Panda Lee. DSP tries it of 2018 that I've done for food, and I will see you next time on DSP tries it. Peace out, folks. Okay, bye. Just had to fucking throw in one more, and of course, you know, let's plug this. Please check the video description for links to my Patreon, Teespring store, and more. Who the fuck would want to buy a shirt from an asshole who reviews, a, who takes fucking eight minutes to review a fucking french fry and plays video games poorly? Who the hell would want to buy a t-shirt from that? Who the hell would want to support this guy on Patreon? Get the fuck out of here. All right, so this video took almost 20 minutes. I apologize for that, but um, I had to rant. I had to get some shit off my chest. And that's about it. So thank you once again for coming back to Le Growler Cats. We will see you next round.